toner serum and moisturizer in one. Hi! <laughs> my Ipsy bag came. Um, now this is just the second month of my Ipsy bag. I resubscribed. I'm sorry. Um, I did resubscribe to Ipsy bag after being away from, I think it was October through, I think I resubscribed February. Um, this is the March Ipsy bag. I'm not crazy about the bag. It's the first time I've gotten an Ipsy bag that I'm not crazy about, but I will use this for pens, pencils, that kind of stuff. Um, on the back, it's just one color. On the front, I can't tell if these are birds or flowers. Not really sure. But um, it comes with this card, Floral Fantasy. These girls are always in like most of their Ipsy advertisements, and of course, it gives you steps on how to win something. I never enter. I do post photographs on Instagram. I do put my review on um, Twitter. But I don't know about this tagging your beautiful besties. Where do you tag them? Instagram? I don't know. So here's the bag. These are amazingly well made. There's the inside. I'm just going to empty everything out. I did look at this in advance and I'm very happy with the products that I got. Now, I did get five products. Um, two things are full size. The others are like sample size. Nice sample sizes. The first thing I'm noting is I got this NYX lip butter. And it's Kind of a peachy darker color than I'm used to but let's see how that looks on oh that looks very nice on hmm. looks better than what I have on right now which is kind of faded so let's top that off it's actually really really nice on so I am really happy I got this. Um, this NYX lip butter is full size. I don't think you can get it smaller than this. Um, it may have slightly different packaging, but I kind of doubt it. It looks pretty much like this is what it must look like in the store. This I will start using right away. Um, well, you know what? I'll go to the next full size item. And it's actually a brush from Crown Brush. It's a dual-ended brush. I have other crown brush brushes, and they're really nice. This is really nice. Um, it's got a very nice um, wide shadow, and, um, and it's got a nice narrow crease end. So let's see what it says on the brush, because we're not getting anywhere with, like, a card that's got no info on it. It's the only thing I miss when it comes to these. Okay, so this is an AC012 Shadow Crease Duet. And it's from Crown Brush. Crown Brush is a very nice brand. It's cruelty free. I already know this because I have purchased Crown Brush products. Eat right down to the makeup. Everything's cruelty free. This is obviously the Shadow brush as I had figured and this is the crease brush. Now the crease brush is a little bit hard. Um, I've actually seen and I have a much better crease brush than this. This is actually pretty sharp so I think what I would use this for more than anything is to put on shadow underneath the eye. A little bit there. Um, does seem to wake up somebody's look a little bit. Sometimes if I don't do it right what happens is I end up looking tired and old. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my older palettes from Elizabeth Thorne and I'm just going to dust a little bit of one of these shadows on. Uh, I'm not going to go too dark. I'll take this brown shadow. Hmm, 
kind of like it. Actually, this end works really well under the eyes. So that's what I'll probably use it for. The only other thing, the only other reservation I have about dual-ended dual brushes is storage. Because most of my brushes are stored upright in a brush um, holder. This having brushes on both ends, you always end up ruining one end of a brush. Um, I have this one from um, M, an M palette. I use this on the crease, but it also has this little brush here, and sometimes it gets a little bit splayed when I put it in my brush storage. So I am very happy with this brush. This was an excellent thing for Ipsy to throw into the bag. I really like getting beauty tools. I also like getting nail polish, which I really need to dress my nails up a little bit. So that leaves me with the three products that are sample size. Um, I have a Pure Lease cleanser. This is actually feels really weighty. Um, now I already use Pure Lease moisturizer. I use the plain one for nighttime. I use the one with SPF 30 um, for daytime. Um, so I already really like it. Now this says um, four in one, sulfate free, non-drying, gently washes away dirt and makeup, even mascara soothes and tones skin, all skin types. Let's see. It has four benefits on the back, so I guess that's what the four in one is. And it says Lotus Lupine 5 on the back. Well, and the reason this feels so weighty is it's a full fluid ounce. Now, the face cream is 1.7 ounces, so as you can see, a full fluid ounce is a really great sample. In fact, when I first started using Pure Lease, it came in one of my beauty bags and it came in a tube this size. And I used that and used it, it lasted forever. Um, and I used it often enough that I knew I loved it. And that's why it's really great to get really good sample sizes. One of my other boxes, I got a sample this big. This is useless because I can use it one time and sometimes that one time use you might really like something and then you might spend the money and buy the product and end up like well why did I think this is good um, at least when you get a sample this size thank you pure Elise, for distributing these um, you get a sample this size then you know um, you find out pretty quickly whether you like something or not and you end up buying it so I like this sample. This is a great sample. It's a really great sample. I also got this little bottle. I'm not sure how this can be a cleanser and a toner in one, or a toner and a moisturizer in one. Let's see what the bottle says. The writing is really, 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 really small. But it says 3-in-1 Revolution Light toner, serum, and moisturizer in one. How can it be a toner and a moisturizer? Healthy food for your skin, natural, gluten-free, vegan, never tested on animals. Okay, so they just got a good mark from me. Never test on animals. Oh, feels really good. I would have to see exactly how it's packaged. Hmm. It's like a really light scent. Certainly a product that I am interested in trying. And finally, I got this little Pixie Duo. Now, I don't know if they come this small or not. I don't think so. It's very pretty rosy gold color. Um, rose gold really looks nice on the eyes. The color is like pretty intense. I don't know if you can see that on here with the lighting that I have, but I swatched the light color and the darker color. These look like they would probably be really nice on. Um, certainly for a work day, that definitely is a nice color combination. So I will give this a try and enjoy it um, quite a bit because I love the colors that are in this little tiny duo. Um, so. That was a good thing. 
So I am overall very happy with my Ipsy bag. Um, I think for $10, um, that includes shipping and tax, that I got um, some really nice products. Certainly the full size lipstick and the um, eye brush are easily worth $10. So there's my products. And this has been Mary, Three Viewers Diary with my Ipsy bag. Hope you got something out of this ever have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me and this has been fun sharing my bag thank you and have a beautiful evening good night